in our particular geographical area, manufacturing is a key component uh, to our economic development. We have a very difficult time finding people that have the proper skills, the proper work attitude, the work ethic. Manufacturers want everyone to know the times have changed. They want everyone to know that there are viable family sustaining careers available in their plants. I think most companies, you'll hear people complain, we can't find somebody with this. We can't find the right skill set or background education for what we're looking for. Do something about it. Change that and here's your opportunity. The educator and the manufacturing workplace really builds off a successful model that has been occurring in Lawrence County and is specific to manufacturing. And we think that it's important because it really gives educators the opportunity to make their instruction more relevant, um, that students really understand why they're learning math, why they're learning English, and um, can apply it to real workplace applications. The basic goal was for educators to come into the manufacturing plant and learn what manufacturing is all about and what their students need to do to qualify to work in such a, an environment. I was so gratified today when I talked to the teachers and when they made their presentations that they talked about the employee and how much the manufacturing employee is valued in the workplace. Um, and a well-skilled worker is worth his weight in gold. At the beginning of this process, when we, we had an English teacher and then a world history teacher and social studies, I wondered, okay, how are they gonna make that fit into what they learned? But they found a way to make it relevant to the students that they will teach, and that was the interesting part for me. I thought an interesting takeaway for the teachers was they got to see how many manufacturers in our region are industry leaders. The specialty fab was responsible for doing some of the steel for Heinz Field. We did the, uh, the Oakland Bay Bridge. They make chairs for casinos. Anything that is rimmed and padded, they create. And every single person put their individual mark on every single chair. Those jobs are available to kids coming right out of high school. They do not need to have any special training. Some of the jobs take two to three weeks, some of the jobs take two to three years uh, to come into this plant and out of this plant. Uh, it's amazing how many parts and pieces there are of this. My experience at Gaster Chairs was truly incredible. It was practical and it allows me to answer that that question that students always come at you with is, you know, why do we need to know this? Um, well, here's why, here's how, here's where you'll use it. You know, the success of any business depends on its employees. And, you know, you, to get qualified employees, you know, we need to know how to prepare them. One thing, one thing that stood out to me is that the soft skills are really the most important thing. In order to make systemic change, you can't just focus on one specific group. You need to do a holistic approach. And in order for a manufacturer to continue to grow and thrive, they have to have a workforce that's interested and possess the skills. Uh, sometimes between the engineers and reality, there's, there's issues. And, and the engineer says, this in theory should work. Well, it doesn't work. So they have to come up with a way to make it work. And, and that's what our kids need. They need to be able to problem solve. They need to be able to use their heads to be able to live in the real world. And, and, and this is a good way for us to do. Expose teachers to this so that they know, hey, this is, this is what, what you need to know. I think so many times kids, they have no idea what actually they want to do. And if you would just give them more options, they might find something they're really interested in. Students who don't want to go to college, to understand that there are very worthwhile careers um, available to them. I stepped into somebody else's world and said, this is the end product. I'm sending students along the way with skills that they need, but I've never really thought about those skills and how they impact society. For me to be able to go into a setting and to see what I teach being applied each day in a meaningful way was incredible. Seeing it from um, somebody who maybe three years ago said manufacturing is dead, it's not coming back. To see that it not only is coming back, but it's going to be a massive force in this area to get the educators out there and from such a broad spectrum, that to me is going to be the driving force to help us achieve one of our goals, which is to make manufacturing relevant to the people in our community. I'm proud that I'm from this area and I want uh, other people to know that and, I, and I, want, I want Youngstown to continue to grow. I'm past what it used to be. I think we got to look forward and stop looking backwards.
I've always been an advocate of having lessons that are rich where you use a variety of skills and this made it even more important. That it, it told me that my thoughts were right but now I can now say to my colleagues, I was there, I saw it, we need to do as much as we can in a lesson, have them measure, have them use fractions, have them use decimals. If teachers know what they should be teaching um, our students, if we know what we should be teaching our students, we can do that in the classroom and then eventually the workforce in the future will be more skilled, more knowledgeable about what they need in order to get those jobs. My idea was that they were manufacturing windows and that's what they did and it would be shipped out. There might be a shipping and a manufacturing and a payroll department. Wow, there was a lot different. I never realized that manufacturing had so many departments and it was so extensive. I was really able to see a lot of practical uses of the stuff that I'm teaching and hey you could have this job in the future and this could be a way that you would actually use what we're learning right now. Really there's a career in manufacturing for any skill level. And I think for the manufacturers it gives them I mean a great contact in the schools to be able to say hey this is a weakness we're seeing or these are the types of jobs we have available and these are the things we really need more students to, to apply for and, and go into. It's the fact that that teacher touches so many students tomorrow and the day after and the day after and it's how many different teachers they touch in the faculty room explaining about that, uh, their experience, that's the key. I just want to say thank you to all involved for giving me this opportunity and I promise to take uh, what I've learned back to my students. I have spoken to several of the employers who hosted teachers and they loved it. They cannot wait to do it again. Anything that we want to do to bring educators in, they want to do it. Um, I think these people are going to go back into their classrooms energized. I think they're going to talk about manufacturing to their students as a viable occupation. And I think some of them are thinking about doing it themselves. <laughs>